Welcome to Reef Builders. I'm Scott Anderson, and you may have seen me on my channel, Mile High Reefers. Well, today's a really cool day as I get a guest host, Reef Builders, in place of Jake Adams. And what a day to do it, because I've got a big box from Worldwide Coral. Now, I don't know what's in this Worldwide Coral box. I can only presume it's a box full of corals. So let's open it up and see what's inside. All right, let's see what we get. All right, first, packing instructions showing all the coral that I got. Oh, and I'm excited. Now we gotta try to get inside this box. And if you look, I think there's only one way to do it. I think we gotta flip it over. All right, got a nice styrofoam container. And we've got tape going all the way around it. Let's get this packing paper out, keep everything in place. Oh yeah, look at all of that. Holy mackerel. Oh, look at all of that. That is so many just awesome frags. All right, let's get these acclimating and let's see what we got. To acclimate the corals, I floated the bags in my frag tank. My goal was to get the water temperature the coral was in to the same as my frag tank. It was a really cold Colorado morning. The corals water seemed fine, but I really want to make sure they were the same temp. Once the water temperatures were the same, I put all the coral into one bucket and started adding a cup full of water every few minutes and blowing the coral off to remove any detritus or debris. I did this for about 30 minutes. After that, I went ahead and put the corals in the tank. The corals that were in the box were absolutely stunning. So let's take a minute and let's go over each of these corals and we'll talk about each one and find out a little bit more about them. Starting with the mushrooms I received, I received two of them. I received the interstellar mushroom, which has gold with a purple background and it looks absolutely beautiful. And then I also received a Superman mushroom, which is absolutely stunning and both of these are going to need medium water flow medium light and should be super easy to take care of next up is the trio of leptus cyrus i got the hobgoblin the cherry corals tangerine juice and the flamingo what's really cool about leptus cyrus is it looks like an sps but it's actually an lps and it is a low light coral this thing will actually thrive in lower lights so it should be easy should be cool and they are stunning on to the zoanthids i received i received the halle berries the darth maul and the scrambled egg zoanthids zoanthids were one of my first corals i absolutely love them they're really easy but the colors you can get are absolutely amazing one thing I would say out of personal experience is to get the best color, you're gonna wanna give these guys a lot of blue light, but acclimate them slowly to it. Next is Ganiapora, and this cherry red variety is absolutely stunning, if not fully open. Ganiapora used to be impossible to keep, but through aquaculture and advances in reef chemistry, this coral is proving to be easier and easier and something I am happy to try. Next up is the green slimer acro. This particular species has been propagated in captivity for a long time, so it should be an easy beginner acropora. And now for the cherry Garcia chalice. The colors on this are stunning, and it should be really easy and like lower light, lower flow. This thing's definitely going in my nano tank. Also destined for the nano tank is this GI Joe Fabia. It should like lower light, lower flow, and should be relatively easy to keep. Next up is the neon green Monipora. 
I love the green polyps on this. They're so bright, my camera doesn't even do it justice. Monies, in my experience, are actually easy for an SPS. Not everybody has the same luck, but I'm hoping this one grows huge and fast. The last coral's easily my favorite. It's the Sunfire Grafted Monty Cap, and it's actually two different corals that are grown together to make one, and it gives it this really cool red and green look to it. I really hope that this thing does well in my tank and grows into a really beautiful large colony. It would be absolutely stunning in that 210. I'm really happy with the corals that I received from Worldwide Corals. They look great. The health was amazing. The colors are fantastic. This is exactly what you want from corals ordered online. To find out more about Worldwide Corals, visit worldwidecorals.com or visit their Orlando showroom. They're also going to be at Reefstock in Denver, Colorado on February 24th and 25th at the Radisson Hotel. They're going to be selling frags and they're going to be one of the speakers at this year's Reefstock. They're going to be speaking along with Vincent Chalius and Sanjay Yoshi. I'm really excited to see those guys speak. I'm going to be there filming the show. Jake's going to be there running the show. So this year's Reefstock is looking like one of the best. So thanks for watching this episode of Reef Builders, and I'll see you guys at Reef Stock.